My favorite music artist ever though is Jay-Z and Frank Sinatra. They both represent struggling. Jay-Z couldn't get a record deal for 10 years, so he just made his own record label. Frank Sinatra came out the gate and was killing it. He became a huge thing, he was making money. And then there was 10 years where no one would sign Frank Sinatra. No one wanted him. They said, he's old, that's 50 stuff, that's 40 stuff, that's done. Nobody wants to hear that anymore. And then he came with songs like, I've got you under my skin, oh look at me now, witchcraft. And he made a comeback and he became that legend. I just really connect to people who took nothing and made it something and didn't complain about it. You know, they just did it. I, I hate complainers. Just make stuff happen. The world is not built for you. Nothing is owed to you. <laughs> Nothing is supposed to be given to you. You have to take it, you have to work for it. Yeah. What's good? What's up, man? Good. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. What is this place? This is one of the sewing factories. I'm pretty much cut up sh pretty quickly here. Okay. How you doing? This is the blueprint of an entire MA1 like bomber jacket. We got all the different pieces here. So what we're gonna do is lay out old existing pieces. For example, we have this sample of like this whole jacket already. So we're basically gonna cut out chunks of it and just put them together to make a new jacket. Basically, it all started with just an obsession of clothes, like middle school, like sixth, seventh grade, saving all my money buying old from Japan, like on eBay, whatever I could find, and then just started drawing my own shit on like the back of my homework, back of tests, and then it just sparked from there. As far as inspirations go, I think it goes unsaid that punk rock, rock and roll in general, is probably the best inspiration. Leather jackets, you know, ripped jeans, graphic t-shirts. That's where I started was with graphic t-shirts and that's like kind of my base point for everything. Dude, the t-shirt on the right side looks so sick like that. It's gonna look so sick when it's all done. Only like 30 more pieces left. One down, several to go. Does placating the public come into your brain at all? Or are you strictly thinking, I really like this, I hope that other people like it too? For the most part, it's what I want to wear, and I think that's the best way to go about something. You shouldn't be making clothes for what you think other people would like, because it's supposed to be your own ideas. But from a business aspect, you have to, you know, I can't make all the weird shit I want to, you have to eliminate some things. But I definitely like making things I like, and if they sell, they sell, if they don't, they don't. If you had to give a tip, to someone who's watching this and they're like, I want to make clothes. I want to be like Shane. What would you say is the first thing they need to do? Start with an idea of their own, not trying to make something they know will sell because it's already selling right now. You know, if you think a certain type of hat is cool, don't start with that certain type of hat just because it's selling. Start with something that you want to do yourself. Sure, we, we, could, we can sew this down too. So. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That'd be kind of cool, like have the button up be the back. Correct me if I'm wrong, to make a bomber like he's constructing right now, it's not simple. Absolutely not. Everyone thinks it's so easy to make a clothing line, it's so easy to do this, but they don't understand the man hours it takes being here in this sweaty ass factory late night. So it's an art. It's, it's a little less traditional process than, you know, regular cut and sew. But the end result, I feel like, you know, is, is much more, much more exciting. As uh, you know, every piece when we do doing things this way has its own unique characteristics. We touch every single one of them, and every person that, that receives it should know that. Like, it's 
It's special. You know what I mean? Like, it's history. Hey. <laughs> the new right here. Just, <laughs> just sleeves. I just love Not enough. <laughs> so being 22 and doing business with people, I know you've dealt with a lot of <laughs> BS. <laughs> what do you think is the most important thing you've learned when it comes to handling business being so young? I think the most important thing is to keep your cool. Because I hear a lot of bullshit all the time. And that's like, you know, whether it's customer service, dealing with accounts, just got to keep it respectful, keep it mature, and I think the outcome will be much greater than acting like a 22-year-old, essentially. I love that. Young businessman. <laughs> Young businessman. We're Great. not playing out here. <laughs> Midnight. Get this money. Studios. Stephen Lacey. Legal Civilization. Ryder McLaughlin. This is RLA. We are the next generation of clothing companies, filmmakers, artists, music people, and we all connected. Yep. We all working, making it happen. Sick. Signing out. <laughs> <laughs>